Students celebrated the National See You at the Pole event by meeting at the football field flagpole to fellowship and pray for the school. Good morning, Indians. Coming up, up, up on the broadcast, we have results from tennis and softball. All this and more coming up on KFOI TV 15 News. Stage High School, I'm Frankie Wanamaker. And I'm Nehemiah Deason. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2013. And here are today's news and announcements. You can support the school's Future Farmers of America chapter by heading out to Culver's at I-70 in Little Blue Parkway on Thursday night. 10% of all sales and any tips will go to the FFA, so enjoy a meal and help a good cause. School portrait retakes are coming up. Underclassmen can get a retake form from both the freshman office and main office. Retakes will be October 2nd beginning at 8 a.m. in PA 7. Seniors, graduation supplies may be offered from the Jossens tomorrow during lunch shifts. A $60 deposit is required at the time of you. You order your announcements, keychains, and other senior apparel. Help show your team spirit and help the boys basketball team at the same time. The team is selling Florida State Spirit Wear to raise money for their upcoming season. Visit www.lidsteamsports.com. Click on the Team Shop link and enter the code FTOSGBB13. From there you can see all your shirt options in sizes ranging from adult small to extra extra large, and prices ranging from $15 to $28. Fill out the order information and you are on your way to showing more school spirits. If shopping online is not your thing, you can see Coach Wilson, Coach Zuber, or any boys basketball player. Show your spirit. Show your support. The deadline for senior yearbook dedications is October 31st. Include an eighth of a page, quarter page, half page, or full page dedication for $50, $80, $150, or $300. Stop by PA7 for ordering information. The FBLA will be having a meeting this Thursday at 2.50 in Ms. Fletcher's room. 47. The group's agenda includes planning the yearly calendar, meeting new members, eating snacks, and of course, having fun. Make sure you have a ride home after the event is over. Miss Patterson's 7th hour science class had some fun with balloons last week. The class mixed vinegar and baking soda together and observed how the two react to inflate a balloon. This was part of the lesson over how different chemicals and compounds create unique reactions when combined. Now here's today's sports report. The varsity and JV tennis teams dominated Belton yesterday. The varsity team won 8-1 with single victories from Emily Shinoda, Ashley Haney, Miranda Harris, Elizabeth Shade, and Jessica Willey. Artie Church and Harris, Shinoda and Haney, and Shade and Mike and Neal all won their doubles matches. The JV blanketed the Pirates 6-0 with single victories coming from Michaela Ford, Bailey Buck, Bailey Finn, and Lindsay Walter. Doubles winners were Mariah Dowdy, and Carissa Hall, and Cassie Baldus and Charlotte Morrow. The girls travel to Park Hill South to take on the Panthers starting at 3.30. The softball team dropped a close game yesterday to Raytown 2-0. McIntyre, Paige Hayden, and Lauren Sluchbaum all had hits, and Katie Diver struck out six as the Indians fall to 10-12 and 12 on the season. The girls take on Belton today at home with the first pitch scheduled for 6 p.m. The varsity and JV volleyball team were in action last night against Belton. The varsity lost in three matches and the JV lost in two. The Indians will next face the Hornets at North Kansas City on Thursday, starting at 5.30. Richmond Forbes came up strong again for the Indians as the varsity soccer team beat Raytown 4-1. Forbes found the pack of gold twice and the Pierre Casaraghi and Keegan Lamering each had one goal. The Indians moved to 2-0 to lead the conference and are 6-2 on the season. The JV team played the Blue Jays to a 2-2 tie. Jordan Brandsetter put the ball in the goal twice for the Indians. The soccer teams host Oak Park on Thursday, with the JV kicking off at 5 p.m. and the varsity at 6.30. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar today, the girls' golf team travels to Hodge Park to take on the Winnetonka Griffins, starting at 3. The C football team visits Grandview to play the Bulldogs at 5 p.m. tonight. That's all we have for you today, Indians. Thanks for watching KFOI TV 15 News, and have a wonderful Wednesday.